Hello everyone and welcome into my tiny music studio. So I don't know if you remember at the end of the cover that I did for Dance to This, uh, I talked about this AKJ microphone that I received from Arman Group. They sent it to me as a gift and they didn't ask me anything in return. If I liked it, I could just use it and I liked it a lot. And so I decided to, to give them a shout out uh, to thank them. Well, they decided to collaborate with me on a few upcoming videos that are going to be both here in my studio in Switzerland and in the US in a few days. And I'm really excited about this project. I hope you guys will like it too. So as Harman sent me a new Soundcraft mixer and interface, I figured it would be a good time to do a little tour of my homemade studio to show you a bit the tools that I use to create my music and the videos. So I created the space in 2015, one week before I posted the first video on this YouTube channel. With the help of my dad, we divided an already existing room in half, used cheap materials to build it and make it soundproof. Carpet on the floor and on the walls so that the sound doesn't echo. A good tip to create a cheap voice recording space is to put pillows on the walls. It looks a bit patchworky like that, but it makes the job. In this space, I put all my filming and performing gears. Also pretty minimalist, because you don't need much to create, actually. I'm gonna show you my recording and shooting process in a minute. I wanted to create an environment that was also inspiring to me, because I'm working in this tiny space every day. And for those who are not familiar with my work, I'm a singer-songwriter, and I use this space to create all my original songs, by the way, check out my Spotify in the description box below and my collaborations and my covers. So I've put some of my favorite motivational quotes, some healthy reminders and some pictures that I like. I also use this space to shoot my YouTube videos and here is my shooting background. I'm gonna show you right now how I shoot my videos. So this is the part that you've seen before. Just some pieces of wood that I painted in blue. I added some neons and wood stickers on my shelves. I have found this studio light on Amazon for 30 euro. I put it right above the camera, which is a Canon EOS 600D. It's an ancient model that I bought eight years ago, but it's perfect for what I do. And here are my audio gears. So my recording process is divided in three parts. The instruments, which includes the vocals, the interface and the software. You don't need huge, fancy, crazy, expensive gears to create good quality music. So the instruments that I use are a Sherwood ukulele, an M-Audio mini keyboard and a machine micro pad. Now to record some vocals, and this is my favorite part, I'm using an AKJ microphone. It has a really good quality in small format, so I can bring it on the road with me. To go from a microphone to the laptop, you will need an interface, and I'm using the Soundcraft mixer. I use it both as an interface and as a mixer. The sound quality is amazing. I'm using it right now to record what I'm saying, actually, and you can see it here. And you can record multiple instruments at the same time, which is pretty cool. For stage performances, it's great to have it by your side because you can add some very cool effects. Cause I can't help falling in love with you. I can change the IQ also and the chorus effect. Or a little vintage touch. Hello! So if you plan on doing concerts, this little guy right here is super helpful and affordable. And everything is recorded into my laptop and I use the software Logic. It's only available for Mac users, but I find it great because it's somewhat very easy to use and complete. So that's it for the recording part, now comes the post-production part. So this is the post-production corner. I love this place because of this window. I feel like my brain can roam from here and I feel inspired. So basically I do the final mix here in Logic Pro and then I synchronize it with the visual in Final Cut Pro. So nothing fancy for this post-production side as well. I know this is a different kind of video, but I hope you liked it and let me know in the comments if you find it interesting. I'm gonna put all the links of the tools that I used in the description box below and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you very soon. Bye guys!